Dr. Gator Snapper playthrough of Dread Out, where I fucking, I think I finally, yes, okay, so, finally found where the fucking keys were. It was super simple, it's where the piggy is, which, did, this doesn't look like, that picture wasn't very helpful in finding this area, because like, well I guess actually if you look through that door, actually I can't even fucking see through that door because it's so goddamn dark in this game, but let's just assume they did it right and that that is exactly where the fucking key was, or where the picture was, I don't fucking know where anything was. So, with that being said, we now have a key, where the fuck does it go, nobody knows, it's up to us to find out, Jesus, God, every time I come back to this game, like I said last time, I only recorded one episode in the last session of this, so, yeah. This came by much quicker than I thought it would be, and... Oof. Oh. Oh, fuck, it's coming back. God, where am I? I can't see a goddamn thing. Okay, no, it's fine. It's fine. You know what? I don't even have to worry. I can just climb up the stairs. No piggy gonna get me up here. So, yeah. Yeah. Fuck you, piggy. But yeah, this fucking game, like... I only record one episode... What was the point of even saying this? I don't fucking know. I guess I was just trying to say, like, this came by much fucking quicker. God damn. It's, it's like... It's perfect with this game when the textures load in late, because it's just, like, scary shit. It works out so well by accident. Like, I'm not giving that as an actual compliment. It's just, like, a joking compliment. Ugh, creepy shit. But, uh, yeah, last session, really short. Coming back to this, it seems much too soon, I have to say. But, eh, uh, whatever. Uh, it's all good. I love playing scary games. It's great. Yeah, no, nothing wrong playing a scary game every once in a while. Uh, like I said, I'm already playing Resident Evil. Oh, that's more of like a slow scare. It's a build-up. This is also a slow scare, but it has jump scares occasionally. Fuck. God. I wish, like, there was something I could do where every time I walk through a goddamn doorway, the camera wouldn't jerk around. Actually... It's just the wind, yeah, I'm sure. Because every time when somebody hears a fucking a noise in a haunted school, it's easy to say, it's just the wind. Yeah, no need to worry, hello. Today I got caught up in work, missed curfew, um, it's a ridiculous strict rule about being outside on Thursday nights. It's a very specific day, I would love to know what that is. Hello, water bottle, did not mean to hit you. Okay, so what's, pray tell, what spirit shows up only on a Thursday? Is it Thor? The day that was named, or the person that was Thursday? You know, Thursday was just named after Thor. Let's leave it to that. Uh, that's something, oh, whoa, okay, I thought the camera's turning me here on purpose. Maybe it's a ghost trying to lead me somewhere. Oh, who knows? But yeah, that's something I've always wondered about. Like, what the fuck did we name all of the days after? Sunday. It's not like Sunday's any sunnier than all the other days. Saturday, that's, fuck, yeah, like seriously, it's, it's probably something interesting enough to look up. Just like, why did we name the days as they are? Thursday makes sense, because, it, like I said, it was called Thor's Day originally. I think. I, I swear that's what I think the original, uh, where the original name for Thursday came from. Thor's Day. I don't fucking know. It sounds stupid when you say it like that. But, uh, fuck, there's like... What well, is Tuesday? What is a two? Oh, maybe it's because like the second day of the week? I don't know. How solidified were the days of the week at this point? Where am I going? Jesus with this game. It's like, oh, fuck, where am I? Wait, maybe Linda's journal says something about those keys. Uh, nope, same thing as before. Telling me about the fucking pig. Okay, cool. Uh, oh, wait. Maybe it's that tiny closet. That might be it. There's probably. Yeah, I haven't gone there and. In... But, hold on, maybe, can I look at the keys, like, specifically at the keys? Like, inventory, uh, small keys, what are these? A key it obtained from a classroom, okay, cool. Not, that's really, really not helpful at all. Like, I don't, ugh, god, I don't know what to do with it. Why, why did I turn all the way around? Jesus fucking Christ with the camera work on this. Okay, no, it's fine, it's fine. I'll end up getting more frustrated at the game's shit than anything else. I swear it gets worse every time I come back to this game. Maybe it's like an actual thing from the game itself. I'd, that'd be great. Yeah, it's just like trying to trick you all the goddamn time. It's like make, it's like a look around function because Linda gets suddenly scared. She's like, oh, there's something behind me. And she looks and there's nothing. And then she turns around, there's still nothing. Turns around third time, what do you know? There's like a fucking penguin waddling behind her. Didn't do nothing besides minding its own business and shit. Oh, good, it's just a tree. Just a harmless tree. I'm sure there's no Indonesian legend about the fucking evil tree. I'm gonna suck the life out of you for money. Ugh, so weird. I guess, I don't know. Like, the go the ghosts seem very strange to me. The pig, especially, just like, 
he sucks money, and for some reason he turned into a pig because of, I guess a greed thing, but I don't know if he sucked food away. I understand him being a piggy, but uh, fuck, like, what was the other one? I, oh my god, I'm already back here. Where the hell am I going? Oh wait, no, I think I need to go back to where I originally saw the stabbed in the back prostitute woman. See, this is what I'm talking about with the weird shit of the ghost in this game. Like, stabbed in the back prostitute woman, no joke, is exactly what it's about. Don't know why, don't know, like, how, like, why that's so specific, but whatever. Oh, why? Oh, fuck, pig can get in here? Is that what I'm assuming? Let's assume that's what I'm assuming and go back up to the safe second floor. Or at least relatively safe. I don't know. There hasn't been anything else that's, like, too harmful besides the pig. Yeah, like, I guess there was the fucking stabbed in the back prostitute woman, but yeah, I took care of her already. Jesus, these fucking random bumps of lag. Ugh, every time I hit one of these lines, it just, like, seriously, just like back and forth, it like dropped a single frame. Oh, well, whatever. I'm trying to find, I'm trying to find that hallway where I ran into, just me. Just me, right? Yeah, just me. My own footsteps, nothing else to worry about. Uh, okay, yes, through here. There's a second door through here. Mm. That wind, that wind is like, oof, really getting to me somehow. Also, I could have sworn, like, I always ran into that room with the locked closet over and over again by accident. Now I can't even find the goddamn thing. I have to be on, like, the wrong fucking, uh, wrong side of the school. But where is it, like, where's, did it turn me, or, oh my god, with this game. Like, why does the camera just turn entirely around? Ah, oh, whatever. Okay, so should be over here, right? I am just going in circles. Maybe I should just whoop, load it in desk. Yep, totally not ghost work right there. I really should just go to the bottom floor and but there's no way up from the bottom floor, is there? No, there is. Okay. I'm thinking of like in the main mm, I'm only thinking of in the main lobby. Oh my god. This place is really a nightmare. It's just I'm always back in the same place no matter what. Okay. No, it's fine. The quaver in my voice does not at all give away the fear I'm currently feeling. Oh, that pig's coming, ain't he? Where's Piggy? God, he sounds fucking... Okay, you know what? Let's keep an eye out for Piggy. Keep my back to the wall. No surprise. Where's the wall? Okay, there it is. Oof. Okay, it's fine. The pig is, like, not even a problem. Pig. Piggy. If he comes from my left or my right, I'm gonna fucking scream. Come on, you fucking pig. I see the vignette. I know you're coming for me. It just, it doesn't seem like he would be able to come in here, because, I mean, it's, I'm only basing that on the thought I've only seen him in that hallway. Ugh, fuck. It's like, it's not even too scary. It's just waiting for the fucker to come out. And he's just expecting him to fucking come from the left or the right. Hell, if I see him coming at me from head on, I'll scream. Jesus. Yeah, hap oh, what was it? Me and my friends were playing, a uh, Far Cry. We were just, like, swimming in the water, and a shark, like, it took us a second to realize what it was, but it's just like a shark from directly in front of us. And after the second of realizing, oh, hey, that's a shark, I screamed. I was just like, ah, that's a fucking shark. Everyone screamed at my scream, too. It was just like, well, glad I can make everybody fear my own fucking ocean fears. It's just like, it's that thing of like seeing it, seeing it from a distance. And it's kind of like, can't really tell exactly what it is. And you realize, and you're like, oh, there's death. Death is approaching at a very alarming rate. Oh, God. There's a picture. Ooh, hello. Oh, these aren't the pictures I can pick up. There's a picture on Google Images. I found one I was looking up... Oh, God. I was looking up a wonderful movie called Peter Benchley's Creature, which I think Peter Benchley is the same guy that wrote Jaws. But this movie or miniseries was like... Oof. It's not, it's not good, if that's what you're wondering. At least, I don't know. It's just a creature feature, but... Like... Uh, very, like, I looked up images of it, because, like, I was nostalgic for it. I saw the movie when I was really young. I was like, well, that's a movie with the shark with legs and arms. But one of the pictures that showed up, like, was really unsettling, because it showed this really nasty-looking shark man creature chewing on, like, a person. But it's, like, a picture in the water, and it's kind of set at a distance where it's kind of hazy. And it freaked me out for some reason, just, like, staring at it. I was like, oh, that's unsettling. I don't like how I'm looking at that. <laughs> It's like, uh, I couldn't, I couldn't, like, I actually couldn't handle looking at it. it. freaked me out so much. And I'm back fucking here again. Okay, we're gonna look on this fucking side of the hallway, just non-stop, until I find that goddamn room with the storage closet. I'm already at, like, fucking ten minutes. This is absurd. There's so much ground to cover and so little ways of understanding which way I'm going. 
Except, you know, <laughs> fucking common sense, I guess, but whatever. What is this? Have I been in here? Hmm. Let's see if there's any collectibles, I guess. I don't know. I can avoid the collectibles. Although, apparently the collectibles are actually kind of useful. Like, oh, is that light? No, it's okay. I was going to say, it keeps looking like light every time I go by. It's really unsettling. What about this room? Anything in here? But, uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, the items that I've picked up. Oh, it's the infirmary. Oh, neat. The items I've picked up, the creepy doll guy and the magical ring or whatever, are actually useful. Like, they decrease the time in limbo, which I guess is what happens when you die? Well, I think the Genglot does that, does, <laughs> does that, yeah. I don't know what the ring does. Maybe the same thing. Who fucking knows? I've, uh, everything in this school looks a goddamn same. I feel like I'm right back where I started. Yeah, there's the other side of the fucking chemistry building. Or chemistry room. This whole place is a goddamn chemistry building. How was it so simple to find it? Is this it? Yes. Okay, this is it. Okay, cool. And the music's back again. I forgot about that little bit of fucking wonderment here. Oh boy. Okay. Let's see. It's... Like, it makes me think something's coming out behind me. And this is not what I thought of. No, this is near it. I know this is at least near the area I need to be going. I severely hope so. Yes, this. Okay, cool. Let's see if the small key works. If it doesn't work... Ah, oh, yes. If it didn't work, I would be furious. I, oh, hey. It's a room. Hello. Should I go in it with creepy music playing? Hello, disembodied heads. Or maybe mannequins? Just mannequins. Oh, scissors. Oh. Totally not unsettling at all. Okay. Ugh, fucking hell. Okay. Music, please. Who's, whoever is banging that pot, please calm down with it. You're really freaking me out here. Oh, the vignette's appearing. Oh, oh yeah. Because this looks like a good idea. Fucking baby crib with scissors guarding it. Ugh, curtains are gonna come to life and just fucking slice me up with safety scissors. Okay, I'll admit, there's not much of a threat. Okay, don't mind me and my hot little body. Totally not a bad idea. Whenever there's a cutscene in a horror game, I'm sure it's fine. Yeah, oh, that's fine. Okay, oh, you know, that's kind of cute. Oh, hey, scissors. Um, you here for a haircut, right? Yeah, <laughs> Ew, you are not pretty. Okay. Well, uh, glad... Okay. Ew. Okay. Well, it's not so bad, I guess. We just gotta fatal frame it. Ah, fuck you. Haha. <laughs> yeah, see, oh, this is simple. Anything in this game could just be... Okay, never mind. Oh, oh god, those scissors... Ah! <laughs> okay, this is a bit creepier than I thought. Are you just like a fucking meth addict? Woman! 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 Get out of here, meth addict! God, jeez! Fuck! Take your fucking drug abuse to somewhere else. Okay, just gotta listen for the scissors. And probably look behind me all the time. Where? Where? Oh, there, there! Okay, good! Trying to leave this room. Yeah, you're not, you're not fucking leaving. You're not stuck in here with me. Wait, fuck, I said that wrong. Ah, you're, okay, I'm not stuck in here with you. Please go away. Okay, you dead yet? That was a different move. I am taking your pictures left and right. You'd think you would stop appreciating it. Oh, Jesus. Ah, that is not a face to fucking run into. Okay, fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> okay. Ah. You know, maybe back to the wall is not a good idea, because then you just get fucked right behind me. Okay, get fucked. Oh, God, that was a scream. Oof. If it wasn't 10 in the morning, I'd be afraid I woke somebody up. Which, I mean, either way. Oh, thank you. Okay, that was... Jesus. That's... Oh, that's my favorite kind of a jump scare. When something pops up behind you. In a very creepy way. Oh, well, at least it's gone. At least I'm still looking cute and sexy. My God. Uh, is that even scary? Do people even find stuff like that scary? Uh, did, did that baby just crash? I think the baby's dial-up connection went to shit. Somebody on the phone in the other room, that baby dead. Okay. Okay, we're good. What would I get? Oh, I found scissors. Oh, I can cut the keys off the pig neck. Which keys were... I don't even know what fucking keys are on the pig's neck. Ah, uh, whatever. I guess that's our next goal. I guess this is close enough to an episode ending. I mean, fuck, something happened at least. That's good. God, this game is so fucking, like, there's times when it's just so slow and nothing's happening, and then shit like a jump scare like that gets you. Okay, well then, be rest assured, in the next episode, more progress will occur. So yeah, it's been a Gator Snapper playthrough, see you guys in the next one. Later, everybody.